I praise the Yahweh about Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rafa Kodash. In Hebrew, it is Kalalalim La Yahweh about Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rafa Kodash. Yahweh is a true name for this for David Father. That's his true name. And Yahweh Shai is the name, is a true name for the son of David Father. Ba Hashem Rafa Kodash means in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honest to all apostles of James Green Stone. Salutations to the Akim pushing this word of sincerity and our truth. Now the reason for this lesson, and as I see on the screen, is it's all it's it's part of it is to show you that you know one of the is that this is one of the reasons that this kingdom already so called white man have to have to go. Alright. That we need deliverance. This is one of the reasons, you know, why we're seeking to depart. See? Because righteousness is not being promoted. Righteousness is taboo in this society. Scripture says, He that depart from iniquity make it himself a prayer. So, and the same thing with we. See? If we depart from iniquity, depart from um, wickedness, people look upon it um, as as the wicked, basically. Now, um, this is what they say on the screen. This is what BBC is promoting. All right? And I'm going to read a preset before I actually get into that um, caption. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, we are who is he? So, the earth, this current rulership, this current government, this current um, um, power structure, is in the under the, is 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 um, running by the wicked. The wicked is in charge. It is evident that the wicked is in charge. All right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, we are an who is he? Now the judges, the real judges are not being I like it. The real judges are not in position of pushing forth any form of laws. Henceforth you have wickedness like this being on mainstream media. If it was the other way around, which are the righteous men in charge, you wouldn't see this on the media because this is strictly against the laws of the Heavenly Father. BBC, which is owned by the devil, is a devil medium. All right, it's a devil media house, and this is the media houses are one of their entities of witchcraft, one of their um, entities that they use to push forth their witchcraft. And people see these things and feel like, hey, you know, this is it women's liberation, oh, women's rights, and all of this shit. No, um, you said from pure taboo to sacred stains. Now, what the word taboo mean? In Latin, it means forbidden, or set apart, meaning you're supposed to get set apart. You're supposed to be by yourself in a this um, condition. Kind of graphic, brothers, but Salakia. Just um, highlighting the, 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 what it, um, the wickedness that is being promoted in the society and why we desire to depart, man. All right, the word sacred is holy. Go back to the word holy. I think we did have it up right here. So let me just uh, bring it up a little like you. Sacred regards as to valuable. Uh, let, me, let me read that. Sacred, consecrated from Latin. Um, Sacred, which means holy. Sin. This is not holy, um, people. This is this has nothing to do with holy. The word holy go back to clean. There's nothing clean about this thing, man. Zen. This is what is being promoted and what is being taught to young girls, man, and taught to the world, because a lot of Negro men, Zen. A lot of numbskulls on this um, actually agree that women not to be ashamed when, when them seeing them menstrual. Right? It's a shameful thing, man. That's why the scripture said they're supposed to be what? Set apart. Let's get the laws of the Heavenly Father. 
Because that is what really matters. Nothing else matters, man, but the laws of the Heavenly Father. So if we were in charge, which we will, we will be in charge soon, this is what will be executed. All right? And if, Leviticus 15, verse 19, and if any man have an issue, and her issue, and, and her issue in her flesh be blood, she shall be put apart seven days. Get that? She shall be put apart seven days. So according to the Bible, she shall be separated. In re, in, in um in any on any level, she's supposed to be set apart. But what says BBC? Let's what says BBC? Discrimination against menstruation menstruating women is widespread in India. Where periods have along been a taboo, forbidden, and considered impure. It is impure. Alright, so this is what BBC is saying. But photographer Niraj, this is what BBC is promoting. But photographer Niraj Jara is trying to change that perception. These art eating images come from a photo project called Sacred Stains. Now, we think influence these um, modern, so, so called modern women, the devil, Western philosophy. They are the ones that push forth this kind of information and put forth this kind of so-called democracy. See? Alright. Um, sacred stains. Say to not silence. Say it's time to not silence women with shame. They should be ashamed. But give them the freedom and knowledge to deal with the pain. The mother should have teach them to deal with the pain. What that shows you is that they now have no parents. So the mother, not, the mother not teach them. That's to show you how backward the society is. You don't need social media. And you don't need to talk up with to deal with pain or promote it on social media. Go on side to deal with that, man. According to the law. Let's go back to the law, man. And, and come up with that crap. And whosoever touches her shall be unclean until evening. Facts. And everything that she light, uh, up, uh, light upon in her separation shall be unclean. Everything also that she, she seated upon shall be unclean. Since you might get it twisted, you people, let's look up what the word unclean means. Become impure. So according to... BBC, what BBC is promoting, so like, yeah. um, where, where peers have been um, taboo and considered impure. So you're trying to demonize that this thing is impure and make little of what, you know, these people customs are. It is naturally impure, see? So according to the Bible, or on any level, it is impure, see? So that's what the word um, unclean mean, mean to become impure. And whosoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes. Ah, sorry, and whosoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. And whosoever touch anything that she um, sat upon shall wash his clothes and bathe himself um, in water and be unclean until the evening. So not only if you touch her directly, anything when she touch and you touch it, you're unclean until you. That's the law. And there it's a reason for that. And if it be on her bed or on anything where she seated, when he touch it, he shall be unclean until the evening. And if any man lie with her at all, and her flowers be upon him, he shall be unclean seven days. And all the bed where on he lie and shall be unclean. So this is it. That's the point. Because you have men out here having sex with women and their menstrual. Disgusting, man. That is why this, is, this society is so um, nasty. This is why the society has to go, man. Because the mindset of the people, they are destroyed, basically. All right? Even of people, men of our nation doing that. See? 
Let's get this scripture quickly. Um, Isaiah 2, um, verse, verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days. Which we in the last days. Alright, so what you will, what the scripture is going to say, you are about to see it, I witness it very soon. That the mountains of the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountains. That the mountain, singular, the Israelites, the Israelite government, all right, which is the Lord's house shall be established on top of the mountain. So every other government gonna be below us. Every other nation, every other families of the earth gonna be below us. This is what God, this is what is coming up. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all the nations shall flow into it. I'm gonna beg to come to um to um are, are glad to come to our place to learn our ways. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain. To the mountain of Yahweh, to the government of Yahweh, to the house of God, of the, of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and he and we will walk in his path, for out of Zion shall go forth the law. Alright? And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So hey, skip us here, it is given into the hands of the wicked. See? No. This is the reason why you see things like this. Um, being promoted, sin. Um, this is a, a, a menstrual, whatever it is, our face, man. And them have the nerves and audacity to put this up. See, they show you brazen and how bright, <laughs> you know, how bare face these devils are, bare face crackers, man. Now, um, yeah. Um, right, so out of, out of Jerusalem shall go forth the law, out of Zion. The law of the law that won't govern planet earth is going to come from us. And because we are not in rulership, that is why you're seeing that. So let me get this. Um, I have a priest, Zachariah. Let me get this in Zachariah first. Zachariah 14. Oh, well, I think the last the priest. 14 and 16, I think. Yeah, Zachariah 14, verse 16. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, to keep the feast of Tabernacles. So every nation that go to church flow into Jerusalem as what the scriptures say. Every nation that come for worship Yahweh and bow before Yahweh. Every nation that go bow. And only Israel, only Yahweh, and the people that will be exalted in that day and it shall be that also will not come so if you have some nations that want to be bright want to be feisty and and go and let them know and come up and it shall be that also will not come up of all the families um, of the earth unto jerusalem to worship the king the lord of hosts even upon them shall be no rain so if you want to avoid famine just obey man and just and just Come be tributary. Just bring your tributes. All right? And, 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 and learn our ways, man. Because we're going to be a righteous kingdom. And the righteousness is going to get pushed forward. Righteousness is going to get pushed forward instead of abominable things. Instead of um, foolishness, man. See? So if you're not come, famine for your hearts, man. I know we're in drought. Verse 18. Um, and if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, they have no rain. There shall be the, there shall be the plague wherein the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of Tabernacle. All right, this shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that come not up to keep the feast of Tabernacle. So you're gonna get punished if you know you wanna worship the laws of David the Father. Alright? So that's what's coming up next. Alright? These events get kicked out um, of their of their um rulership. Zane. Because all that is promoted in these in these um crackers um um Kingdom is just is just folly. Excuse me, folly set in great dignity. 
and the rich sit in low places. Who are the rich in low places? The Israelites. Because if we were in on top, then righteousness would have been promoted. If we were on top, if our government um, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai was, if that kingdom was set up, then, then righteousness would have been um, established. But what is it? It's just straight nastiness on the earth, man. Faggots, lesbian, um, all the laws being broken by these um, people. See? Psalms 58 verse 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray um, as, as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their democracy, Zane, their philosophy, their, 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 their wisdom, according to them, the wisdom of wickedness is not wisdom. Zane, it's lies, it's all lies, man. Scripture tell oh, oh, this man was a liar from the beginning, and the father of it is the devil. Sin is the real deceiver. Sin, and then you have these so called women, modern women, I should say, taking up the, 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 the philosophy of this Western uh, um, 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 people and running with it, man. These women's liberation and these, um, all these madness. Sin. So, anyway, um, let, me, let me read the final precept because the next devils have arrived. Uh, this is Michael 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, but this is not your rest, because it is polluted. Another word for polluted is unclean. It shall destroy you even with the soul destruction. And in our kingdom, women are not going to be on their period and be out and about in the workplace and taxis. You know, because you're not supposed to sit down anywhere to sit down or touch anything which you sit down. So in our kingdom, you're not going to have this, man. So you say, arise and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is greatly polluted. You're not going to have no, have no pollution in our kingdom, man. It's going to be all righteous, it's going to be all clean. The skipper say, oh, my, and the Lord say, oh, my people shall be all righteous. See? And that is what we're yearning for, man, for righteousness, um, to live in righteousness. All right? Jeremiah 30, verse 23, can the Ethiopian change his skin? Are the leper at his spot? No, they can't. Then may he also do good. Then may he also do good that are accustomed to evil, to do evil. The wicked, the so-called white man, are made to do evil. Then that is why I see evil um, um, all around the world, man. And all the laws been broken. All right. So these are just things, man, um, that show you that we need our we need our kingdom. We need our 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 our, our, our um, we need our kingdom, man. We need it. Sin. Shalom, Mark. Your mobile was edifying. Shalom.